Hello guys, how are we doing? Welcome back to the Free Hammers. It's Luke, as always. Um, a few bits of news out there. Um, one of the big ones out there that was sort of leaking a little bit last night was about the big ledge, big dogs, you know, Virgil van Dogs. Um, Rumours are that he wants to go back up north, you know, be close to his family. Um, I'll be a bit gutted actually if this is true. Um, listen, I don't know how true it is. Um, a lot of rumours rather than actual real, you know, concrete um, evidence about it. Um, you know, he's been he's been fantastic for us. Um, you know, there is, you know, arguably, we probably will go and get another centre-half because uh, we know we've been linked with players. Obviously, we pulled out of Tarkovsky, it looks like. He will be going to Newcastle. But I do think that Moyes is looking for another first-choice centre-back to play next to Zuma. Oggy... Oggy's fantastic, but you know, we do need to look beyond him just purely on his age 34, will be 35 going into you know, this midway next season. Um, so maybe Dawson is thinking, you know, I'm in a good position, you know, my stock's quite high at this point. Um, you know, give his absolute all for West Ham for two seasons. Um, maybe he thinks that this is the right time to go and he can get a decent deal showing that he's still got a bit about him um, I'd be actually quite gutted to see him go because I think there's a place for him you know as a sort of the third choice centre back and especially again with a European campaign to have a defender that Moyes trust and he, and he was instrumental in a lot of them European games dogs. yeah I'd be quite gutted if, if it is true um, I hope I say I hope it's not and I hope they can He's definitely got a place at the club for another year, um, especially if Diop was to go. Because if you're thinking, you know, if Dawson did go, then obviously, you know, you're left with Diop, who clearly Moyes doesn't fully trust. Um, and, and I would rather Diop be sold and we buy in, you know, a good solid first choice centre back. And then you've got Oggy, Zuma, Dawson, and another. Yeah, so yeah, that was something there. Let me know what you guys think about Dawson. Um, another rumour um, well not a rumour it's quite concrete apparently West Ham are hoping to double Gerard Bowen's wages um, I don't know how much he's on actually I don't know if he's on about 50 so they put him on about 100 he's justified that in my opinion you know there's only a couple of players in the Premier League that have hit the double double in basketball it would be called 10 assists and 10 uh, goals um, I think it's only him and Salo and maybe one other so you know he's he's his stock's massive and especially if he plays for England in the coming months which will be an absolute travesty if he doesn't you, you've we have to tie him down if there's one I'm more scared of losing it's actually him I think Rice does stay I, I do unless I, like I say ridiculous ridiculous offer unless someone like Ten Hag comes in and goes yep I definitely want him in Rice I'm more worried about Bowen uh, going and I'll be absolutely devastated if he does. He, like I say, deserves it, deserves the uh, pay rise. Um, he's been fantastic, he's improved his game, uh, scored so many important goals for us. Um, and you know, if you, again, if you want to push on as a club, these are the sort of players you've got to be keeping. Um, and you know, I, I think he's happy at the club, you know, he's, and I think there's no coincidence, you know, that he's, you know, settled down with a, you know, his new missus, Danny Dyer. Um, there's no coincidence that you know he's happy he's Danny he's probably you know well loved by the Dyer family like Big Danny and all that um, so yeah I don't think he'd be looking for a move yet I don't, I don't think that's in his uh, psyche it, it, all, this, all this does come into play you know like his missus obviously Danny's Essex um, would she want to be away from a fan if they move to like Liverpool or if you move to Manchester you know there's all, all these little things and if if he wants to marry her and have a kid with her you know would they want to be around the family more in Essex so I don't think you you know I don't think he'll be openly looking for a move yet I think that I think the big thing with West Ham in terms of losing players I think is the World Cup you know if Declan Rice goes and, and I've got no doubt about it he will go and have an absolute worldly of a World Cup if Bowen does somehow manage to get himself on a plane, then um, that's when we could start losing because then you know it's a world world stage and they're putting themselves in the spotlight, you know, in front of millions and millions. Um, but yeah, hopefully Bowen does get his new contract. I think it's very very important that we tie that down. Um, 
so we can get you know the best deal for us and the best deal for him uh, we have to start rewarding the players that are doing a job you know for years we rewarded mercenaries and players that you know weren't up to that standard now it's time to reward the Rices, the Bowens, you know, the ones that have really put a job in this season and elevated us as a football team. Um, yeah, the other news is um, about Bowen, he's being linked to Manchester United. Again, what sort of price would you be paying for Bowen now? Place for England, the price goes straight up to 60, 70 million for me. Um, there's no one, like I say, scoring more goals English wise, apart from Kane. And uh, yeah, I think he walked straight into. Uh, Quite a few teams, to be honest with you. Um, so yeah, I hope, like I said, I hope that's not true. Um, linked with a couple of defenders, obviously because where the Tarkovsky one doesn't look like it will happen now. Uh, but yeah, any news that does come out in terms of defenders or hopefully some strikers, um, Eddie and Ketty, a rumour keeps surfacing again as well. Um, yeah, I'd definitely be all over that. Um, I think if we were to get. You know, a little bit of luck on Sunday and qualify for Europa League. I think you'd be up for the project. I think you could see a project at West Ham. Um, yeah, and I would definitely have him. But I think it would have to be him plus, you know, him plus Watkins, him plus Brozier. Um, I, I, I don't think we should just sign one. Listen, Antonio was fantastic. We see the better of him um, at the weekend. You know, that's one of his better performances. But listen, I don't want to be relying on that. And we don't want a situation where... He breaks down and the other one has to play every game and gets tired. We need to be thinking beyond Antonio now. Again, purely for age. Um, but yeah, that's enough for today. Uh, thank you. I'll try and do these as much as I can as and when news is out there. You know, I'm trying to read up on news and anything that comes out. Um, but yeah, let's take... It was really hard one actually, uh, just to finish this video off. Um, because I can't stand Arsenal, but I hate Tottenham as well. So yesterday it was sort of like um, double-edged. You know, it was like let's laugh at laugh at Arsenal, but in the same respect, I've got probably suffered at Tottenham. We'll get top four again, and with Conte, they could do some real damage, and I hope they don't. But yeah, let's finish it on a positive. Let's enjoy it. Week to go, last game of the season. Um, still loads to play for and let's hope we can do it guys thank you for staying loyal I noticed loads of you were retweeting my tweet about you know subscribing to the channel which we're only 300 away from 4,000 now which is a fantastic milestone if we can hit that I, I think we'll hit it probably hit it in the summer usually our subscribers go up massively in the summer um, so hopefully we can do that but yeah thank you for all the comments as always comments have been fantastic some really really long comments recently as well which you know I really appreciate the effort you put in um, like I said I do read every single one uh, during my lunch break at work or you know during my break time and stuff like that so uh, yeah thank you as always guys come on you wines keep believing and any news that comes out we'll get it out there let's go